Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ali. I upload three videos a week beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So today I thought that I would do a little haul for you guys and excuse my little curls. I had my hair down earlier, but I just put it up and that's why it's just a mess, honestly. So yeah, I just thought I'd do a little haul today. Some makeup that I've been buying over some terms, over some terms, over some time. And then also I wanted to talk about um, some makeup that I have coming in because it won't be here in time for the haul. But I want to go ahead and let you guys know that it's coming. So I guess what I'll start with is the makeup of what's on my face today. So the first thing I got is this BH Cosmetic, BH Cosmetics, and I think it was like a Weekend Vibes collection, but this is their Mimosa palette, and I was really like, ugh, I love this palette. So I was really shifted and geared towards this palette and a palette like this, just because of the name Mimosa, because if you guys remember, I, in my last Ipsy that I got, I got a Mimosa palette, and it was very bronzy and things like that, and I was like, okay, this is not what I think of when I think Mimosa, because when I think Mimosa, I think brunch and I think colorful. So this definitely hit the nail on the head with it being called a mimosa palette. And even the names in here are super cute. So you got sunny vibes, you got sunny vibes, pop, pomegranate, chilled, champagne, OJ, happy hour, cheers, bottomless, guava, raspberry, bubbly, we love brunch, fizzy, and Salutai or what? Saluti? Salutai? I don't know. But anyways, yes, yeah, so that's why I was really intrigued to buy this palette. And it's also what I have on my eyes today, inner corner and everything. So I have Sunny in the crease. I also have OJ. And then I have Guava on the lid blended up into those. And then I have Champagne on the inner corner. Okay, so the next thing that I did pick up from BH Cosmetics is their Cashmere Cream Lipstick. And I got the shade T. And had I, I was just adding stuff to my cart, you guys, and had I remembered, I don't know, had my mind been elsewhere, I would have gotten a color to go with that palette, but I didn't. And this is just their lipstick in the shade T, so that's just what that looks like. It's a very much like a stone, purpley, mauve nude color, something that's definitely really good for like the winter or the fall, but definitely not good for this eye look, so that's why... We did not use that today. I had on a pink lip, but that wore off. So now I have on a gloss that we'll talk about in a minute. Okay, so the next thing I got um, was the BH Cosmetics Brilliance Bronzer. And I got mine in the shade Coco Cutie, I believe it's called. Yeah, I got mine in the shade Coco Cutie, and that's just what it looked like. And like I said, I did use all these products today, the BH Cosmetics products, because I did a full face of BH Cosmetics. And I really liked this bronzer. It's not as red as I thought it would be, and it is very, very pigmented, but it's also very, very blendable. So I did end up liking this powder as well. So the next thing I got, because I needed a setting powder, is their BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Setting Powder. And the shade I got, let me see. Gotta get this out. I told you guys I suck with packaging for whatever today. And that is, and I got mine in the shade 235. What shade is that? I don't know, it just says 235. So that is what I got, and this is what it looks like. And it actually matches me perfectly because it's not this pigmented once you blend it out onto the skin. So it does blend out really good, and it just added some a little bit of color because the foundation that I actually bought from BH Cosmetics was a little bit too light. So this it balanced it out perfectly. Now I will say it doesn't keep you very matte because I'm looking at my skin right now and I mean, I'm looking a little oily and that's saying a lot for me because I'm not really an oily type of chick. So yeah, so I would definitely be careful with that. If you have oily skin, like I said, you probably use more mattifying products because I used the Makeup Revolution Hydra matte setting spray so it's supposed to keep you matte but hydrate so i don't know i don't know maybe it could be the setting spray i'm not sure but it is wearing really pretty so the last thing i got were these lashes and i'll put a picture up off the screen but this is what they look like and these are their in d301 and yeah i was really i don't know i grabbed these lashes because i thought that they were like 
the best looking lashes they had. And also I was like, I don't have anything like that in that in my collection. If I'm gonna buy lashes to use in my video, like I want something that I don't already have in my collection. So that's another reason that I reached for these, but still like, okay. So next we are going to go ahead and talk about Mary Kay. Mary Kay is slept on, I feel like. I think like they have this bad reputation for being like a pyramid type of business or like some kind of thing like that. But really when you get to know it, like it's pretty cool. And these are just the things that I picked up from them. You guys have already seen that I got this satin lip set, which is a lip scrub and a lip balm, which I really, really love. I believe it was in my May favorites. So the next thing I picked up was this Lash and Brow Building Serum. How do you open this? Oh, that's cute packaging. Look at that. And I believe that this was 28, 30 bucks. I don't know, I'll put it on the screen. But this is just what it looks like. And I was talking to the girl about it and she said, this is one of those lash serums that you don't have to worry about it irritating you or changing the color of your eyes. So I'm super duper excited for this, especially because my brows naturally are really, really thin and I'm not talking about the width of them. I'm talking about like the hairs themselves are really thin and my lashes have gone to crap since I've had kids. So I've been wanting a lash serum. So I'm finally excited. I'm really excited that I finally picked one up and I will let you guys know how that is. And if you want to pick up any of the Mary Kay things that I'm talking about, I will leave my sister's link to her little online store down below. Okay, so the next thing I got, and you guys haven't seen this, but it already has been posted on Instagram. And I picked up the Mary Kay CC Cream. If you are somebody who likes, if you are somebody who likes like a lighter coverage, but also coverage, if that makes sense. Like if you want something to even your skin tone, but you want something lightweight, this is the way to go. Not only does it make your skin look super smooth and super poreless, but it also gives you like a coverage where like with me, like you can still see my freckles through it and things like that. It's very, very light. I like it best applied with a sponge like everything else, but it does apply really good with a brush as well. So yeah, that is all, That is something else I picked up and I have mine in the shade medium to deep. Okay, so the last thing I got is this uh, Mary Kay Botanicals Moisturizing Gel. I could have swore I got the cleanser. I don't know, maybe I was gonna order the cleanser. I don't know, but I need the cleanser. I wanted this one because it's like all infused with enriching antioxidant packed dragon fruit and aloe extracts. So yeah, I just wanted something really, really nice. Also, I'm running out of my daytime moisturizer. So this came just in the nick of time. I literally have, and this is a really big, you get all of this for 18 bucks. Like you get maybe a quarter of this at the drugstore for eight bucks. So yeah, I'm excited to try this out. Like I said, I'll let you guys know what it what um, everything in this line, each product is 18 bucks. So the next thing I wanna try out obviously is the cleanser, but I definitely need my charcoal cleanser because I believe that's playing a big role in why I'm breaking out is because I am out of my charcoal cleanser. Okay, so next, last but not least is stuff that I've actually only bought today. And some of it's from Target, some of it's from Ulta. I will tell you which is from where. Okay, so let's start off with what I got from Ulta. And what I got from Ulta, all of this, except for four things, is stuff that I need for another collab that I'm doing with my sweet friend, Raquel. And so, one is, we're doing, you'll see, but this is for a collab that we're doing. And so I did need to pick up the Milani Conceal and Perfect two-in-one foundation. And I got mine in the shade medium beige. And I mean, I don't know, we are gonna see, cause this might be a little bit too dark for your girl. So, I mean, we gonna see, huh? Wow, a little bit of that, wow, went a really long way. So I think that might actually be perfect. What do you guys think? Hmm? Let me know. Do y'all think that matches me pretty good? I feel like it matches me pretty good. It's also really rough and now I'm turning red. <laughs> Oh, my Lanta Alley. But yeah, I think that matches me pretty good. And that's because I bought, chose this online. So guys, I just be guessing when I choose my foundations online. Like I, I go and I'm like, okay, I know this is too light. I know this is too dark, too yellow, too pink, somewhere in this range. And I pick, like that is exactly how I do it. So yeah, this is a Milani Conceal and Perfect. Like I said, I got mine in the shade Medium Beige. If you are a foundation twinsie, 
The next thing I got was this Makeup Revolution and Sofex or Sof, oh yeah, Sof palette. And this is the highlighting palette. I'm really excited to play with this. I actually bought this for my sister for her birthday. And I was just like, oh, like I just, I can't not have it, you know? Like I can't not get it for me too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I have been selling so much stuff of mine on Facebook and Poshmark so I could buy all this makeup because, you know, sometimes you just gotta spoil yourself and your kids. Wow, that was not as purple as I thought that it would be, but it's still, wow, those are pretty highlights. Not sure how much I'd use this bottom row because those are pretty deep, but definitely like these five right here. I could definitely like mix these two right here, but yeah, not too sure how, not sh not too sure of how much I'll use those colorful ones, but I am a sucker for a good highlight. So we shall see how that goes. So the last two things I got were these NYX Butter Glosses and Jessica Braun <laughs> keeps talking about these on her channel. And so I'm like, okay, like I, I, I gotta try them. Like I just gotta try them. These were the thing like back in the day when YouTube was first getting big, like these were like OG YouTube. And like I always wanted them. And I was telling my sister, like, it's so funny how we always say like, oh, I always wanted to try those. But like, we always buy the expensive makeup that we wanted to try first. And I'm like, well, you know what? Maybe if we bought all the cheap makeup first, we wouldn't even feel the need to buy the expensive makeup. I have tiramisu on right now, which is this one right here. And it's not sticky, you guys. It's literally just adding like the prettiest wash of color and sheen to my lip. And this one is in creme brulee. Like these are the two shades that I hear everybody talk about. I was going to get fortune cookie because Juicy Jazz talks about fortune cookie all the time. But I actually have some super nude glosses like that already. So I was like, I don't have anything like these. So like I said, this one's a tiramisu and this one's a creme brulee. And they're actually on sale on Ulta right now for $3.75. So snag them up because they are $5 everywhere else. Hey guys, so for my haul, I forgot to mention that I did also pick up this Essence lip our lipstick in the shade number three this is nude so this is just what it looks like let me swatch it on my arm oh that's pretty and that is just what that looks like my bad back to the back to the haul Okay, so that's it that I got from Ulta. And then the last thing I, the last store that I went to was um, Target. And so I did pick up this Maybelline Brow Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade. And y'all, this packaging is all messed up. So we're just gonna go ahead and take it out. So this is just what it looks like. It even comes with a cute little spoolie brush like this. Let's see what kind of quality this brush is. Spoolie is kind of, eh. well, you guys watch ASMR? I love the spoolie sound. I feel like the spoolie sound is so relaxing. So, this is just what this is. Ooh, this brush feels like. I mean, it's a little bit thick. It's a little bit thick. But this is just what it is. And I believe I got mine in the shade Deep Brown. And I hope it, I got the right one because it looks brown brown. I was too scared to get black brown or dark brown because I didn't want it to be too black for my brows. But... Mm -hmm. I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. Yeah, we shall see. And then the last two things that I picked up were these LA Girl Shockwave Eyeliners. And I just went ahead and grabbed these two because honestly, these are the only two that are always left whenever I go. And it is the purple and the yellow one. So screaming and vivid. I did go ahead and pick these up. Let me open vivid. Okay, so I hate things like this that don't come with a sharpener and they're also not twist up. So I'm going to hate sharpening these. But this is vivid. And then and this is why I say that because Screamin' already broke Screamin', which is a yellow one. And I actually have Screamin' on my waterline right now. It did wear off super fast, at least on this side. Yeah, so it did wear off like super fast. So I'm not too sure about the wear of these, but I'll keep on trying it out. And like I said, these are the two colors I got. These are the only two colors that they always have. I will be picking up more because like I'm starting to get out of the habit of like smoking out my bottom lash line. And I figured like a colorful eyeliner would be pretty cute like in the waterline. So 
yeah, those are everything that I picked up. And then I will just go ahead and pop up pictures on the screen for the other things that are in currently in the mail on the way to me. So the first thing I got was a Juvia's Place foundation. And I believe I got the shade 460. I will correct myself if I'm wrong on the screen. You guys, it is so hard to pick out a foundation on JuviusPlace.com because when you read the, just like whenever you read the, um, and I bought it on Juvia's Place because not only did they do Afterpay, but they're having a sale on their foundation. It was 50% off, I believe, their foundations and other products. So I only paid 10 was it $7.50? I paid like $7 to $10 for the foundation. And then I did get the concealer. The concealer was also a super hard shade to pick out. And I believe I'll put up all the shades and I'll put insert the pictures of what shades I picked out and stuff too. And that was also 50% off. So I did get that, I think, for $7.50 as well. So I did get those two items. And then also I got a blush from them and I got this shade. Oh, what shade did I get? I got the lighter one. And like I said, I'll be inserting inserting pictures on the screen and I believe that their blushes are like 12 bucks so I was like oh like I've never spent that much on a blush before and then the next thing I got was a highlighter duo and it was their uh what what was it called it, it was a set of two but it was like their highlighters were like 12 they're like 15 bucks and then it was like a set of two on sale for 16 bucks and I was like well okay like I'll just grab the set of two for 16 bucks but then I also got their setting powder and I do remember the shade that I got for that one and that was in the shade white sand because the only other shade that they had I knew was just going to be way too dark like I just knew it would be way too flipping dark for me. So I did get white sand and the setting powder and I believe that that's it. I forgot to add a brow product as always so maybe I don't know I don't know I'll see if they have it somewhere in store hopefully Ulta has it in store I'm not sure or uh, I do need to check that out because I forgot to do that because I do want to try to do a full face of Juvia's Place and then if they don't have they didn't have bronzers all they had were their like complexion sticks and I was like okay like I'm not paying $16 just to have a cream bronzer that I probably won't use that often so then I also got the the War, Worry, Warrior Coral Palette, I think it's called. And I got that for 14 bucks. But then they had a code on there right now for Speak Up and you get 20% off. So I actually got everything at a discount. And yeah, so those are all the things that I have coming in. And these are all the things that I've already gotten in. So yeah, you guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more like this, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, if you have any more suggestions, Leave that in the comment box and hit that subscribe button. I love you guys. But always remember that Jesus loves you more. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.